Hello, my name is Mike and I'm part of the customer success team here at Outfield. In this video, I will show you how to add new team members to your Outfield account, as well as edit permissions and access. Adding team members is an important step when setting up your account because many aspects of the Outfield platform were designed for collaboration, communication, and market analysis. While they can be used as a solo user, features such as league play, chat, and performance analytics reach their fullest potential when used as a team. To build out your team, start by clicking Team Members nested within the Settings dropdown in the side menu. This page shows you your current team members, their role, and when they were last active on Outfield. To add new team members, simply click Invite Team Member. This page prompts you to input their information and set the role to either User, Admin, or Viewer. If someone on your team works as a manager or supervisor, we suggest setting them up as admins to give them access to reporting, data management, and other admin functionalities that standard field reps just don't need access to. By clicking Show Optional Fields, you'll also have the ability to set permissions to various pages like performance analytics, team activity, and team members. When you click Send Invitation, a standard invite will be sent to their email address, prompting them to create their password and sign in. On a side note, if you ever wanted to customize that invitation, you can do so by clicking Customize Invite Email in the upper right. If we go back to the team members page, there are a few other things to take note of. To the right of each person's information, you'll see a drop down with a gear icon. This is how you can quickly edit a person's permissions or visibility. Within that drop down, you can exclude their name from analytics and activity feeds, which you may want reserved just for your field reps. You can also restrict someone's access from the platform altogether by either deactivating or deleting a user. These options disallow that person from logging into the system. Deactivating a user is the most ideal option if someone on your team leaves your organization. Keep in mind, if you choose to delete a user, that action cannot be undone. So if you're unsure, just stick to deactivating. Last but not least, if you ever need to export your team member list into a spreadsheet, you can do so by clicking export near the top of the page. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you found it to be helpful, shoot us a like and subscribe to our channel for the latest outfield videos. If you have any questions or have an idea for a new video, send us an email at support at outfieldapp.com. Outfield. Experience the field reimagined.